Hey, what's going on everyone? Brandon here, and today we're gonna have a quick look at the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 dock. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Now let's go. <laughs> it's another exclusive. Uh-huh. SOC and Marlo. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, remember when that's just a tap on. So yeah, hey guys, thanks for joining us for a quick review. This one won't take too, too long. Ever since I've upgraded to the MacBook Pro 2017, I've had a problem with my dual screens you see back here that I have running. Right now I'm using the Elgato Thunderbolt 2 dock, and since I've gone to the Thunderbolt 3 platform with the 2017 Mac, which is only with Thunderbolt 3 ports. I've been having some troubles with it switching on and turning off, and it's just been a bit of a hassle. So I went ahead and decided on the pluggable Thunderbolt 3 dock. So I've unboxed it, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what comes with it, and then hopefully I can give you a shout and let you know whether or not it works better than just having a converter from Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 for my dock. And as I'm kind of connecting and trying to connect my camera and the peripherals, I've got a USB hub that's hanging off of the Thunderbolt 2 dock and it's just too many dongles, too many converters. So I just wanted to try to go as native as I possibly could. So without further ado, let's just get into it. What the dock comes with is I've got the 0.5 meter cable. So I've got a USB-C to USB-C cable there. There's a DisplayPort adapter from DisplayPort to HDMI. There's certainly the power brick. Power adapter seems pretty heavy. The AC cable. And I also ordered a USB-C to DisplayPort cable so that I can get the second monitor functionality. And there's certainly just the pluggable dock itself. So as I have a look at it, I mean, the finish is okay. Um, I do wish it had an SD port, but other than that, I can still connect my, my GH5 to that with no problem. So on the back, we have the power in, the DC, which is 20 volts, and this is supposed to be able to trickle charge at uh, 60 watts for the 2017 MacBook Pro, so we'll see how that goes. There's been multiple reviews on that. There's the display port for the monitor, and then there's the computer connection. So on the back, we have two Thunderbolt connections. There's one that's supposed to go directly to the computer, the alleged single port that's required to dock the MacBook Pro. Then there's a second Thunderbolt port that can be daisy chained. The problem here, of course, if I use a display for that is that I'm out of USB-C ports. So perhaps I'll eventually upgrade my monitors, but right now I'm using display port and I have HDMI, DVI, and VGA connections. There's an ethernet connection here. And then finally, there's four USB ports on the rear. As I have a look on the front, flip it around here. We have a USB connection here. This is for charging purposes and then a headphones jack. I think that completes the picture for the Thunderbolt dock. And yes, it can sit horizontally, but what's really nice about this is that they also come with a, this is a pretty heavy weight, which is also a stand. So I can just drop it there and it can take up a little bit less desk space. I'll get to connecting this and maybe give you my final thoughts once we're all said and done. Okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. So final thoughts as we have a look. The system works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it, but I'll try to get some days and maybe weeks of docking and undocking to see how things go. I'll try to come back and pin a comment below. But all in all, I'm very happy with the ports that it has. I did not see any decline in charge, although it didn't charge as quickly. So I'll be interested to see whether or not I start with a, say a 90 to 100% charge on my MacBook Pro, and if it can be maintained, or maybe even connect at less than 20% and see whether or not it still increases in charge. The connectivity, the ports are great, so I can get rid of my hub on top of a hub. I still will keep my handy dandy dongle that has SD on it so I can throw that in on the second side. But the single cable connection is great. The only thing I wish that it had, and this is why I looked really, really hard. I looked at the OWC USB-C Thunderbolt because of the SD cable, but I was reading so many complaints with regard to whether or not the second monitor would or would not work. You know, I think this will get me by for sure until the time that I see that it's actually worth upgrading to a 4K monitor or two. And so in that case, I'll probably just use a monitor as an extension or as a hub in of itself, which will hopefully eliminate any issues. I got full resolution on the displays, which is great. Right now I'm running 2K, so 1440. So with that, thanks again for checking out one of our reviews. As always, hit that subscribe button. Please give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to hit that notification button. We're going to try to keep cranking out content here as much as we possibly can. So but with that, we'll catch up with you the next time. Peace.